In this video, we're going to solve this first order differential equation. Now, I know we're in the second order differential equation section at the moment, but the idea here is that we're going to learn the method here, and then we're going to extend it up to second order. Okay? So, first things first, we consider the homogeneous case, okay, the homogeneous equation. So that would be dy by dx take away 8y is equal to 0. Now we can use the auxiliary equation here. So the auxiliary equation would be m take away 8 is 0. So m is equal to 8. So that is telling me that the general solution has y is equal to a e to the 8x as part of it. So this is the complementary function. Okay? So that solves the homogeneous case. Right, then what I do, I'll block off that part, then what I'll do is I'll look at the right-hand side and say, right, I've got a linear term here, x plus 1. So what I'll do is I will take a punt and try y is equal to, um, let's say, px plus q. And I'm going to plug it in and see what I get. So dy by dx would just be p. So I'd have p take away 8 lots of px plus q, okay, is equal to x plus 1. So, on the left-hand side, what I've got is minus 8px, and I've got p, so plus p, take away 8 lots of q. And that's got to be equal to x plus 1. Now, the left-hand side has got to be the same as the right-hand side. So, I'm going to compare coefficients here. So, the value that's in front of the x, the coefficient of x, has got to be the same as the coefficient of x over here. So, minus 8p has got to be equal to 1. So, that implies that p has got to be equal to minus 1 8th. I also know that p take away 8q has got to be equal to 1. So that's got to be equal to 1. So that implies that because p is minus 1 8th, we've got minus 1 8th take away 8q is equal to 1. Okay, so if I add 8q to both sides, subtract 1 from both sides, I get minus 9 eighths. So that means that q is going to have to be equal to minus 9 over 64. So I now have the pieces I need for the particular integral, which would say that I need plus p times x, so actually minus 1 8 times x, plus q, which is take away 9 over 64. And this part is my particular integral. Okay, and so this is the general solution to the differential equation. Now, beforehand, we would have used an integrating factor to deal with this. And in order to deal with that, you then have to integrate the right-hand side, which would have involved uh, integration by parts. This method actually avoids that and is actually easier to work with. Okay, So yes, you can use this method to solve your first order differential equation problems as well.